it's teacher Rena again. It's been a little while. We're gonna start doing every other week videos, I think. That way Mr. Ben and my busier schedule won't get in the way. I'm gonna go ahead and pray, but we're gonna jump right back where we were with our last video. We were talking about Abraham and Sarah. Jesus, thank you that your love is always good. Thank you that even when I'm not perfect, you're always there. And thank you for um, just blessing all my friends on the other side of this video. Help them to know your love through every day and help us to learn to laugh with you. So this week is really a fun lesson because I think it kind of flies in the face of um, what a lot of people think about with God in the Old Testament. When you hear the whole story of God in the Old Testament, a lot of people think about Adam and Eve. A lot of people think about Noah and the Ark and the Flood. A lot of people think about how many people were punished. And this is a really fun story because it's all about laughter and about how God responds when we laugh at him. And he kind of makes a joke. We're going to start out in Genesis 17. It's actually in verse 17. And um, God is making a promise to Abraham. And God says, Abraham, you're going to have a son. You and Sarah are going to have a baby. Abraham says, how can that happen? I'm 100 years old and Sarah's 90 years old. He doesn't say it out loud. He just thinks it. And then he laughs. <laughs> God says, okay, I want you to name him Laughter because it's going to happen. God is making a joke. Later, God comes back to Abraham and he goes by to visit him. And he tells him, with Sarah right there listening, Next year, Sarah's going to have a baby. And Sarah, even though God can't see her from where he's standing, she starts to laugh. And she says, that's impossible. That can't happen. And God turns to Abraham and says, why is she laughing? And she comes out and says, I wasn't laughing. I wasn't. And still God doesn't get mad. He just says, um, yes, you were. That's in Genesis 18, and that's one of my favorite parts. Moves on, and in Genesis 21, Isaac is born. And my favorite verse comes. Genesis 21.6. I'm going to read it. God has brought me laughter, Sarah says. So Abraham laughed at God. Sarah laughed at God, and God made a joke about his friends laughing. And then Sarah, who actually laughed and then tried to lie to God about her laughing, knew that it was God who was in charge of bringing her laughter, bringing her joy because she never thought she would have babies. Now, the reason this is such a special part of the Bible for me is because my God that I know loves to laugh. He laughs. In Psalm 2, it says he even laughs at bad guys. He looks down at them and says, ah, what do you think you're doing? You are not going to win. And he laughs. This week, I want us to practice laughing at the things we see that aren't going the way we want because we know God wins. Love wins. And there will never ever be a time where the bad guys are going to be laughing in the end. It will always be God. I love you guys. I'm going to pray one more time. Jesus, thank you so much that your love is so full of laughter, that we get to laugh with you, and that we just get to enjoy being with you like you enjoy being with us. Come and be a part of our week this week. We love you, and we love you. And I hope you're having a good day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.